right, guys. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are doing wonderful. Okay. All right. I see a little bit of the same uh, theme. I'm pretty sure that we got uh, the Eight of Wands yesterday, Monday. Okay. So I see a theme here because now I'm noticing that it's a good thing too. Okay. Because now we've got the six, the seven, and the eight. Okay, so we're one card, sh one card short of a nine, right? Which means that this journey, even though it may seem uh, new and unfamiliar and unchartered, we're still not starting out brand new out of the gate. This is what happens when, with this card, this is wanting to be set free, okay? That is Mercury and Sagittarius again, okay? Um, it's the need for more, right? travel uh old uh old ways of thinking you're challenging the things that you believe you're looking for the answers as to why right your soul is is wanting to be free it's too confined okay what this card really means it goes very well with that saying um you know it becomes too uh you know painful for the flower to stay inside the bud it has to bloom at a certain point right? We just, it just becomes too painful to stay complacent. It just becomes too painful to stay in, you know, a relationship or a job or something that's just not fulfilling. Okay. Because what happens here is we've got the chariot card. That's cancer. Okay. That's, that's how you nurture yourself, right? How you nurture yourself is how you show up in the world too. Because if you're not taking care of yourself, if you don't know, uh, the things that, that feed your soul, right? If you don't know, to sleep when you're tired or to rest when you're tired or to, you know, eat good things because, uh, how, how I get my energy, how I, you know, you have to know desire to give desire, right? So if your relationships aren't, uh, you know, if you're not being treated how you want to be in a relationship, right? You have to ask yourself, what am I, uh, allowing then, right? Into my life. Am I allowing things that aren't nurturing me? Am I allowing you know, people, places, and things that, that aren't nurturing me into my life. And if you are, ask yourself why you're doing that. Okay. Because I think what's happening here and a whole is you're really just setting yourself free. It's just become, you know, you're, you're looking at the things again, because the houses lit up on here are the ones pretty much that we're, we're, have been exploring. Okay. We've got, uh, you know, cancer is the fourth house. Again, that's the nurturing, right? We've got the third house here. Okay. And that's, you know, our, our, the stuff again, that we, we learned before we drove our bikes off the street, right? The, the beliefs, the religions, the, the ways of doing things, right? At a certain point when we wake up in the morning as adults and we're going through the motions in the day and we don't know why we're doing them, they're not fulfilling because one, we're not doing them on purpose. We're doing them because it's just a learned behavior, right? So what we want to do here with the chariot is that is a card of success, but what's happening there, it's, you know, it's a need to get your faculties in order. Okay. It's, it's where we leave the outside crazy. We, we set it free. We let it go. We're not affected by it anymore. We're not affected by being pulled in a thousand different directions. We're not affected by the things that we learned. We're not affected by our parents still, right? We're adults now. There's a different dynamic there too. And that's what really trips people up. You know, yes, we're always our, our parents' children, no matter what age we are. But but at some point, there needs to be that dynamic of, you know, a, an adult-adult relationship. And that I notice with, you know, a lot of my clients, there's, there's a little bit of a hold up there. And I think that that happens just in life, too. You know, it's it's you've got to switch this, right? So what happens here, too, is with the chariot, okay, you're setting yourself free here. Okay, your soul wants to go. It wants to question the things in life. Okay, with the chariot, again, like I say, this is where you separate yourself from the old patterns, the old ways of thinking. It's 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 what's in your mind is is needing to be fresh, and it it comes out through, you know, your soul wanting freedom, and that's what the chariot does, right? But this is about um, the need to have your faculties in order, okay, and and to keep them controlled and your will in place, because what happens here is if you don't, this is where ignorance, okay, blooms into catastrophe, 
and your life goes in a different direction, but it's 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 at the winds of, of chance, right? You don't want that to happen here. You want to direct this, okay? Because now we've got the six of swords, okay? And that's the that's the um it's the new perspective unfolding. It's knowing when to move on, it's allowing your visions to fall away, uh new ones to come into place. It's it's moving through uncertainty with forward motion, with purpose, with pulling on the past and knowing that you're just trusting that your intuition and your soul are going to guide you. And that's what happens there. Okay. Um, that's what it is. It's really just, you're, you're really just going in a new direction and the page of cups here, what she represents honestly is your imagination come to life. She's that blank piece of paper. Okay. With this card too, you don't want to bring the old stuff with you. There's only so much room here, okay? You you don't want to bring the old stuff forward. Again, that's why I say you need to be focused. You need to have a direction. You need to know what you're doing because you don't want to be ignorant here. You don't want to bury your, your head in the sand. You want to know exactly what you're doing and you want to harness all that and pull on what you've learned from the past and go forward. And you don't want to be distracted, okay? So we want to leave the old crap behind, literally, okay? Because here's the blank piece of paper. That's your creative venture, okay? That's a new relationship. That's the beginning of something, okay? Watch your dreams, too, I'm going to say with this card. Um, a lot of your creative ideas, a lot of your intuition, a lot of your guided direction will come through your dreams or they'll come through signs. You'll start to see things. Um, and you'll start to feel things. Trust your intuition, okay? Again, this is a card about feeling. It's a card about releasing things that um, aren't serving you, the old things. It's about unlearning new things to make room for, for new things. This is a card of success, guys, okay? So you're, again, we're coming in with the six, seven, eight. We're shy. One card of the nine. We're at the tail end. So Victory is yours. You've just got to keep your mind in the right place. You've got to trust your intuition. You've got to not be distracted by the crazy going on around you, right? None of it is, is important right now. Your main focus is, is seeing your way to where you're going here, okay? This is an all or nothing venture. You can't go into this halfway, okay? Because that, again, is what's going to trip you up here, all right? And you have fun in this journey. Remember, right? It's not the destination. It's it's being fully in, engrossed in something that you're doing that is exciting. It's unknown, right? It's scary, but it's exciting. That's what you want to do. You're you're feeling very, very confined and you're setting yourself free. All right. So that's again, watch how you talk to yourself, watch the people that you align with. Okay. This is where our passions, our dreams are set out into the world, right? So you want to be um not pulled off your path. You want to do exactly what uh, fills and inflames you, right? Okay. I think this is short and sweet. I think it's really just a continuation. I think we're moving further and further down the path of just not being able to, to stay there anymore, to think the things that we did, to be uh, in relationships that are not fulfilling, okay? Because I think now we're really putting the oxygen mask on ourselves first and we're moving forward. Okay, everyone, including family, guys, has their own journey here. Okay, so your life is about you, not a thousand other people. We don't need to broadcast either the things that we're doing because that's going to trip us up. This is uncharted territory. You know, though, what you want to leave behind. When you know what you don't want, you know what you do want. Okay, so this is what you're, you do want. You do want to move forward, come what may. Okay. But you're going to have victory here. This is in a relationship too. This is in a creative project. This is in a job. This is in anything right now that you're being guided to do. Okay, keep in mind too, this is this is a card of cancer. It's ruled by the moon, right? The things under the surface, the things not seen, the things that are, are sacred spaces to us, right? Fear creeps in there too, but but that's okay. It's It's unknown territory right? But, but you have to trust in yourself and that you have universal guidance here because you do. Okay. So I think this is wonderful. I think this is really enchanting. I think this is, this is perfect growth and it's a perfect time to do it. And, 
and the planets are aligning and the universe and your, your guides are all right here with you. You're not on this journey alone. So know you're going to be victorious and, and keep going forward. Okay. I hope that I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything, but I think that this is wonderful. Okay. This again is when, you know, our life just at certain points, we just realize, you know what? It's just too awful to stay put. I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to trust myself and ask for guidance and I'm going forward. And you are victorious, guys. You really are. Okay. This isn't a shot in the dark here. Okay. This is an all or nothing uh, journey and you can do this. Okay. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day.